Stop the clock. Tick, Tick, Boom is the story of composer Jonathan Larson, and it's a story he wrote himself. He spent his 20s writing a musical no one wanted to produce, and so he wrote a musical about how no one is producing him and what is he doing with his life, and it is a perfect snapshot of New York City in 1990 at the, you know, as the AIDS crisis is unfolding and stealing a generation of talent, and it's a perfect self-portrait of an artist as a young man deciding whether to give up or double down on his dreams, and I don't think there's anything more relatable than that. This is the one I've been waiting for. Um, listen, this is a New York story. It's a love letter to theater. Jonathan wanted so badly to be part of this world. He felt deeply ambivalent about this world. He wanted to shake it upside down. The musical theater he saw was not what he wanted to make. And um, he changed Broadway forever. And he didn't get to live to see how much he changed it. Um, so the fact that Tick Tick Boom is playing in a Broadway theater, like even if it's just for tonight at our opening, is like a is many dreams come true. I want them to know John. I want them to get to know John as much as they can. And we, 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 he was our North Star. The spirit of John was our North Star for, throughout the whole of this project. So for me, it's like, I hope that he is being transmitted, his spirit, his essence, his love, his healing work, his joy, his irreverence, his humor, his foolishness, his uh, passion his revolutionary warrior art spirit. So I hope that they get John in, in, as, in as much as I felt John coming through when we were shooting. To get to share this film with audiences in general is a thrill, and tonight to get to share it with uh, New York and with the theater community, I mean, this is the audience that we had in our hearts and minds when we started this journey. It's the audience that we've thought about throughout, throughout this journey and, and dreamed about, and so to get to share it with them feels uh, really special. It's so special. I mean, especially being in New York City, we are literally on Broadway and Tick Tick Boom is on Broadway. I think Jonathan, uh, he would be elated, but I feel like he's just looking down on us all, just so fulfilled. Jonathan Larson's brilliance, combined with Lynn manuels artistry, combined with Andrew Garfield's talent and simply off the chart performances from everybody in this film. I want people to know what it means to combine theater and film in the most powerful way, and that's what this film is. Honestly, I'm so excited to watch this movie with New Yorkers. This movie was made for New York, and it's a musical, and I just know that everyone's gonna be gagged and having the best time and like, oh, I am so ready for it. I could throw up. Oh, I'm so excited. You know, last week we were in LA and we're doing the press junket there and stuff and it's a lot of, it's a lot of new information for me. Real talk. And I'm just like watching everything and be like, yo, this is mad cool, you know? Um, but also like, it was anxious and nervous because of that new information. And now coming here, it's so cooing. It's like I'm home. It's my people. I know what I did last week, and I got to repeat that. Except I get to do it in a place where I feel even like more safe and more protected and more carried and more loved. The amount of love that I've gotten this week is like so crazy. And like, honestly, y'all, it pays to be a good person because when you're a good person in this business, and I'm gonna pat myself on the back. I'm an amazing person. People really show up for you. The the, the love has been. Despite how that sounds, it's been beautifully humbling. It's totally surreal. I think we're all pinching ourselves because at our core, all of us on the creative team, from Lynn to me to everyone, are just theater nerds. And so I feel like in a way, all of our musical theater nerd dreams are coming true by finally being able to show this movie to the world. So I am the historian consultant. I was brought on board in 2017 by Lynn. And my first involvement with the movie was getting to kind of dig into Jonathan's world with Lynn and Steven Levinson. So everything from going to Jonathan Larson's apartment to kind of meeting with some of his friends and kind of creating the world around Tick, Tick, Boom that um, you get hints of in the original musical that he wrote, but also come from his life. So um, I was just kind of the history nerd girl uh, from talking with with the creators to talking with the actors as the show the show the movie was coming along it is like a show i hope audiences experience the the thrill of what it means to follow a dream you know that's that's what it is and and that's not a linear you know upward you know track sometimes there's a lot of lip dips and valleys right and i think we can all relate to what it means to to have a dream and to have it detoured and pause it stopped reverse 
<laughs> you know? Um, so everyone can relate to that. More than anything, I hope they really examine what do you do with the time that you have. We got some precious time here, so you know, got to make good use of it, as, as Jonathan says. We filmed this in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, it was a very rough time, so to be able to be in a space to make art with beautiful people was very exciting, and I can't believe that it's finally going to be on the screens and people are going to see it. I've heard people say this is a love letter to Broadway, and that's exactly what it is. So shout out to Lynn. I'm so excited for him. <laughs>